If you drive through downtown Dallas or even Fort Worth this month, you're going to notice that either skyline's not as bright as we're used to seeing. Yeah, and all of that's on purpose. Brooke Rogers is going to tell you about it right now. Both cities are taking part in a campaign that's called Lights Out Texas, and it's aimed at turning down the lights in an effort to save birds. Downtown Dallas is renowned for its festive light shows on the iconic buildings that dot the skyline. But this fall, many of those buildings are going dark to clear a path for bird migration. Texas is in the central flyway, which means that when birds are migrating in the spring and the fall, every year we're seeing about 2 billion birds come through our state. About 80% of birds travel at night, and those bright city lights can pose a deadly distraction. And those that survive are then separated from their flock. A collision in 2017 into a Galveston building involved almost 400 birds, and the Lights Out Texas movement was born. From October 1st to the 21st, dozens of downtown Dallas and Fort Worth buildings will dim their lights from sundown until 11 p.m., turn them off from 11 p.m. until 6 a.m., and then go back to 50% capacity until sunrise. This is the third year Reunion Tower has dimmed its 259 LED bulbs and marketing manager Jenna Gwynn says participating was an easy decision. Uh, we are 561 feet tall so of course we are directly in the path of migrating birds in spring and fall so with fall coming up we just want to make sure that we allow them to travel safely through the city of Dallas. Crumley says the hope is that this helps stop a decades-long reduction of birds which is a concern because of all the benefits they provide to our habitat. And so when we're seeing that birds are not just cladding into buildings, but aren't able to reproduce, then that um, rapid decline in rate of our birds is going to be concerning as a larger conservation effort across the world. Brooke Rogers, CBS News, Texas.